Yo, what is up guys? This is me Graffiti and I am back with another tutorial. Today in this one I'm going to show you how to add multiple zones and zombie spawners. So let's just get right into it. So um, pretty much I built a basic map from the mod tools. Um, this is how it should normally come out looking for you um, like this. So what I did was I added a building with um, a bunch of rooms. And in these rooms, we have doors, and each door has a trigger and a clip on it uh, to open each door. Um, if y'all don't know how to do that, there's tutorials out there, or I will make one um, if y'all request it in the comments. Uh, but for this one, I'm going to assume that you already have your door set up, and now you're just trying to figure out your zone. So. Um, the main issue when when I see zone um, tutorials is they don't really show you how to script the zones correctly um, because when I first watched a few zone tutorials what would happen is like with this as a circle map is I would give the script um, the same name so like this is start zone so I would say start zone go to outside zone and uh, start zone goes to zone one and if I do that it would actually glitch out the the zombie spawners and I would have error um, and zombies would spawn in all the zones even if the doors were not bought yet so today I'm going to show you how to correctly do that and this should be a pretty good tutorial so yeah so what you're going to want to do is you're going to actually want to add a volume. So what your volume is is you should when you load up your map you should also you should already have one. And um, it should be named start zone um, as the as the original like the first one when you open a tutorial, but if you do not have one in your map, you you can always open up the entity browser and to get to that you can right click up here and then go to entity browser and you click on that and then you're going to want to find info and then look for volume and then you would drag that into your map and then you would drag it out so what I've done is I've actually uh, dragged it out to so here's the start zone so I have dragged it out to the size of my start zone so you want to make sure that it's in between the uh, the walls so because if you go outside of a volume it can kill you if you have not paid for the door yet um, once you set the flags so what we're going to do is make sure that it's all set up so we have our first volume right here our start zone and I already have it done you're gonna make sure you have these KVPs here if they're not there then it won't work so you're gonna name the target name of your zone so this can be whatever you want so uh, this is gonna be start zone this is zone one um, and then I'm going to add a zone two for y'all um, show y'all how to do that yourselves uh, and then we have our outside zone um, and I also have another outside zone right here and what that is for is uh, if you notice there is a section where this is too big and if I were to move it in between like down drag it down it would get in the way and you would run into that and die so you need to add you can add two volumes and just make sure they have the exact same KVPs and names so uh, now that we have our first volume and our second volume set up let's add our next volume so here is our info volume so we can control C control V and then paste it drag it down so now that we have our volume make sure that it's not interweaving with the other volume make sure it's just touching it doesn't have to be touching it can touch but make sure the gaps are not too big because if your character runs through it they will die um, so make sure it's all behind so like that and then let's drag that about there drag that to about right there and we're done so if you notice it says zone one we need to change this to zone two 
and it also is missing a target so uh, and what the target is is this targets the spawners target zone zone two underscore spawners whatever your zone name is so let's come back to the start room and if we come back to the start room this is how the map goes we come out through this door this takes us to the outside we come through this door this takes us to zone one we come through this door this takes us to zone two um, and we take we go through this door and this takes us back out to, to the outside and we come back around um, so it's a big loop and this is how most uh, basic map setup should go like so um, uh, now that we have our zones our volume set up and you have them all spaced out um, and they're all touching and they all have the right correct names we are now going to add the flags to the doors so uh, what you do is you want to find the triggers uh, to your door so this is what opens your door um, so you're gonna want to actually add a flag so to do that you're gonna want to click add KVP and you type in script underscore flag and then the value will be whatever you want to uh, name your uh, your flag zone so normally you want to name it like enter or open zone uh, so I would name this like I like to do open underscore zone uh, for when I do it so I've already added mine so you would do open underscore start zone if you're following along with me um, and what why you want to do start zone is because you can't have uh, the same flags uh, ha the they can't have the same names because if they do then it will it'll mess up and zombies will spawn in multiple uh, rooms so like in this flag uh, we have open zone one so this is start zone to open start zone this is start zone to open zone one this is zone one to open up zone two and this is zone two to open up outside zone and and that's how you do it and from outside if I were to buy this door from here um, I would not die coming in here even though this is named outside and not zone three so there's no need for double triggers do not add double triggers or it will mess everything up so next let's add zombie spawners so to do that there should be already in your game but if not you can always go to script and then add a struct and then add uh, these KVPs so uh, here's a dog for dogs um, you want to uh, add a script noteworthy and then make it uh, dog underscore location and then for the target name it's whatever your uh, spawner is so this will be start underscore zone underscore spawners uh, and then this one right here is uh, riser location find flesh and so find flesh means they come out of the ground and they chase after you and then if we come over here we have one that says uh, riser location uh, receiver set entry A so that means it has to go to this entry A so if you have multiple windows you can just add uh, whatever names and then you want to add a target name uh, to to it so it follows to this so um, once you do that so we have our uh, our two riser locations and find flesh and the target name is start zone so we already have it for our first zone so to add to our second zone um, you just come over and you change it from start zone to zone one and so on and so forth and if you've done it correctly a uh, red little line should run up to your zone so this is zone one and then these are zone one so that's how you add uh, the the spawners just make sure it says spawners and you have the right KVPs um, and you can always add a script and a struct and then add it all from fresh if you want 
or if you want to add more spawners you can just always control C control V and paste it like that and now we're all done with the radiant part so you want to click file and save and you want to close that up so now you're going to want to open up your script and to find your script is you want to open up your mod tools find your map name so here's skybox or test map whatever your map is go show zone folder go to user maps your map name scripts zm and then open up your gsc file not your csc so once you open up your gsc you should have it should look something like this so you're going to want to find where it says function user map test zone initiate uh, initialize or uh, so you're going to want to go into my description and you're going to want to paste what I have so when you paste it um, it should look uh, a little something like this one moment please um, I actually deleted it so I got to re add it um, scripts yeah. so it should look a lot like it should look something like this control C so we're going to highlight these and we're going to control V and we're going to delete those make sure you keep the bracket you want to have the bracket there we go so now we have it pasted it should start off as just zone um, but what we actually got lucky so this is our start how we're gonna do this is it's gonna say zone z zone and then open zone uh, in my description so if you have multiple zones you're gonna want to keep on pasting this if you only have one zone you can just stop here but we have multiple so how you want to figure this out is one is these these name the first name can never be copied so um, it can never say uh, start zone again after this and open zone one can never be copied as well so um, all the names should be different um, so this one is start zone so open zone one and to figure that out so we let's come back we got our start zone and we go uh, from here to zone one and then we go from outside alright so what you want to do is you want to control C and then you're gonna click enter paste and then we're gonna we're gonna change this to outside and then we're going to control see this one and then paste it make sure you paste it in between the parentheses or the quotations I mean sorry this to open start zone so this is the flag right here what I was telling you to add on your door so whatever your what it is so whatever this name is is what your flag has to be in radiant or it won't work so uh, just rinse and repeat so control uh, not bad I forgot that I deleted that um, so take the, well actually we're gonna need this one so let's see and control V zone zone one to zone two to open zone two and then we will highlight this again and then we will control Z make sure you don't highlight it control V again name this uh, to um, yeah zone two two and then outside zone control C 
Trophy. Trophy. And Trophy. Boom. So that's all you got to do for the scripting. And so if you notice, we got start zone, outside, uh, zone one, zone two. And then we go open zone one, open start zone, open start zone two, open outside zone. So none of the zones are are copied. If I were to put uh, start zone and then start zone again, the zombies will spawn in all of the uh, in all of the zones and that will cause a big uh, problem for you and it'll be a big headache so that's about all guys um, if I were to load and compile link and run my map it should work fine now so let's just do that and I will show you that everything's working now wait So now the map is loading up and yeah guys so after this loads up that should be that should conclude this tutorial so please leave a like comment and a sub and if there's any other uh, tutorials y'all would like for me to do uh, please you know leave that down in the comments and yeah guys let's just see if this works Hopefully, I don't get down. <laughs> All right, so we spawned in our start zone. We're waiting for the zombies to spawn. So they do spawn like normal. If we open up zone one and we come through here, zombies will start spawning in here. We open up zone two. Zombies would start to spawn in here, but why they're not spawning? Because all the zombies are already spawned in the map. So let me kill all of them and start the next round. And yeah, see, Treyarch still hasn't fix, uh, fixed the light bleeding and I just made these walls from scratch, so they do need to fix that, like, ASAP Rocky. Alright, so if you notice, all the, all the zombie spawns are working. This one's working, I'm pretty sure. I had to make this one from scratch, so I don't know if this one works. Yeah, so this one's not working correctly at the moment. Um, normally, uh, it should come with the right... Uh, uh, sh script struct but um, mine got deleted so I was guessing so I guess I made it wrong so if we open up the outside zone uh, I do have the zombie spawners out here as well so everything works fine and if you notice I don't hit any death barriers and that's because there's no spaces and if I were to open up this door everything should work fine um, but yeah guys and just like I was trying to show you earlier if you do not put all your zones touching um, together or really close and you have too big of a gap which will happen is this you'll hit a death barrier so yeah guys peace out keep on mapping and subscribe